Hello everyone and welcome to SOS Wrestling and to the fifth episode of the Academy series. Um, this is the sixth time I'm trying to record this, so uh, I already know everything that has happened. And the first time I tried to record it, I, ac I didn't accidentally, I unfortunately deleted the mail after recording it. So um, basically what happened, BH Fight was signed to uh, Lucha Underground. Um, Jesse Angel got injured, I think twice. Um, who else got, Adrian True got injured for a little bit, and, uh, that's really all that happened, but, uh, Wrestler of the Year is Kenny Omega, I think he won it two years ago, uh, Company of the Year is New Japan, Team of the Year is Bullet Club, Match of the Year is Naito vs. Omega, Show of the Year is New Japan Invasion Attack, Young Wrestler is De Plata, Veteran is Tanahashi, Female is Paige again, Most Improved is Beyond, Independent is whatever that guy's name is. Uh, manager is DDP, so he dethroned uh, Paul Heyman. I don't know who he is managing, but uh, we can find that out later. If there is time, I honestly don't know. Uh, announcer of the year, Josh Matthews. Color commentator is JBL. And referee is John Cone. So, um, going straight to uh, the shortlist... I'm I'm probably going to skip over a few people just because I've done this and I really want to go through this as quickly as possible because my recording software is messed up repeatedly. So I just want to make sure that I actually get everything. So um as you can see Adrian True Power 500 uh 378 which is a uh, plus 10 improvement over last year. So hopefully it can keep improving. Um his match history Okay, so he had 46 matches this year, which was better than last year. He only won 10 of them, but uh, he had an X-Division title shot against Raymond Rowe, so uh, that shows how organized TNA is, because Raymond Rowe is definitely not a cruiserweight, but uh, still improving, which is nice. Uh, BH Fight, who is now the first person to be signed by multiple companies, um, he's only an enhancement talent in Ring of Honor still. But uh, you'll see why probably in a few minutes because Ring of Honor is just absolutely stacked now. But uh, only one Ring of Honor show, and that was Global Wars. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a bit tired because I'm trying to do this in the morning. But um, Ring of Honor Global Wars. So he still got a pay-per-view appearance, and uh, Luch Underground gave him three title shots, and including in his debut. So uh, hopefully next year he can win his first title, or um, at least get more matches, because I feel like he deserves more. Isabella didn't have any matches, along with Jace guys, uh, so that doesn't really matter. Did, I mean, doesn't matter to check on them, I'll show you their stats, haven't really improved all that much. Jesse Angel is still in uh, NXT, she's at 444 right now, I think. She didn't, go, I don't think she went up that much from last year. Yeah, only two. So, uh, hopefully she can win the title again this year. Cause, well, I mean, she was injured, so I guess two going up is good. She had three title shots this year. Three wins, 11 losses. But, uh, sorry again. But, uh, the, they were all against, um, very capable people. Um, so... Hopefully she can win the title again to get that rating up and or, you know, get up to the main roster because that would also be really nice. I don't care about the news close. Justin Wake, uh, one of the rookies, is he did not have a match this year, but um, let's see. Yeah, he's improving pretty well. The only thing he went down in is... um. Where is it? Ariel. Uh, Levy Payne, had, he had a few matches, but it doesn't improve. You know, it doesn't... I would check the matches, but I can already tell you, he went three for... Uh, he won three, lost four on the independents. Rico Starr, the other rookie, uh, only went down one in athleticism, and everything else improved for the most part. Didn't have a match. And the Shadow... Improving still... Ugh. Not as fast as um, 
I might like, but you know, he's still, he's got a contract, so that's all that really matters. Um, let's see, four wins, one draw, 11 losses. Uh, so, and he did get an intercontinental title shot, so that's nice. Um, good to see him getting a little bit of a push. Also, Rico Starr, I realized this, I think, like, the third time I tried to record this, but I accidentally based him in Western Australia. Um, and it, I mean, the only thing that that affects is wh what independent shows he'll be working at. So, um, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna base him in, um, in America like it should have been. <sighs> I'm going to base him in America like it should have been in the first place, and then we'll be good. So, uh, the other thing is uh, Ring of Honor. They have been poaching WWE talent, as it looks. Um, right, where is it? Ring of Honor. As you can see, I'll just show you the roster. Um, it's been a while since we checked up on Ring of Honor, so, uh, be ready for some surprises. Uh, Aaron Stevens is there now. Um, Cody Rhodes is there. Um, Eddie Cologne is there. I think that's Epico. Big E is in, um, if it will show up. Big E, Ettor Ewan, I think that's how you say it. I don't know. He's in uh, Ring of Honor now. So the New Day is broken up. Uh, Jack Gallagher is in Ring of Honor. Let's see, Johnny Curtis, also known as Fandango, John Moxley, also known as Dean Ambrose, Kenny Omega's there, which is cool. Um, oh yeah, I think I, I skipped someone, hold on. Ashley Flair, also known as Charlotte. Um, Seth Rollins, also known as Tyler Black, which is cool. I, I, if he would go back to Ring of Honor, like, I mean, obviously I want him in WWE, but if something doesn't work out and he wants to leave, then Ring of Honor would be so cool to have Tyler Black back. They have Stu Sanders. They have Shinsuke Nakamura, who is currently the world champion. So that's amazing. They have uh, Kalisto. They have Ryback. And I think there's one more. They have Natalia. I think that's it. But yeah, lots of WWE talent poached by Ring of Honor. They're currently cult, and they're only 8th ranked. So that's... That's pretty cool. So, uh, sorry for the excessive yawning. Just really tired. Um, you know, really tired of trying to record this over and over. But, um, if you did like the video, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment. You know, give me tips, uh, stuff like that. Also, I might be restarting the Local to Global series, so if you didn't make it this far into the video and you want to see Local to Global, just sound off in the comments. It'd be a pretty cool thing to do, so thank you guys who, uh, if anyone does that. Uh, and, um, yeah, just check out all the other videos, all that good stuff. Sorry for this one being so delayed. It's just my recording software is being a total douche. But um, I'll see you guys next time.